What is going on, everybody? Eddie Soundhead back once again here with Soundhead Entertainment. We are back in Wreckfest once again here today. The night after the clash, it was a crazy little race they had going on there, and we are going to try to replicate some of that with a little Coliseum-style clash of our own here, accompanied by the NASCAR legends, of course, for the first time in a little while. And there's been an update. There's a new pack of skins out, so we're rocking this Dale Jr. car here, and hopefully we'll be able to secure the dub like Logano did on this tiny little track. And green flag flies. We are underway. The Pitbull performance is concluded and now we can race here at the Irwindale Inner Circle essentially which I thought would be the smallest track that this would actually work on and it's already going a bit wrong everybody's right we need an actual Coliseum mod could you imagine that it's even smaller than this and the fans are everywhere and there's William Byron in the wall off my door and I'm looking back at it and I'm gonna find the wall that is a bit embarrassing please pretend that didn't happen who's out here we still got him doing donuts on the backstretch Eric Jones out here everybody in the corners I even installed a little better racing like overhaul mod to try to get them to clean it up a little bit. And this is the result, I guess. We get AJ Allmendinger pulling it all the way across the racetrack. Here, I'm just gonna return the favor. And if you guys can do it to me, I'll do it right back to you. Duke can play this game and I, I'm gonna wipe out the field every chance I get. And I did indeed wipe out that Kodak car. We lost them. Pollock is not gonna be pleased about that AJ move back there. There's Ricky driving backwards. He did that a couple of times yesterday, at least once. Well, everybody's wrecking though at this point. I, I can't believe we're up to eighth after this monstrosity of a lab. And it, it's gonna end that way too as we dump Larson. At least Alex Bowman does get the dump too. It's a pack of people right out of the way. And then I'm just gonna run the freight train up here at the top, I guess. Alex Bowman didn't even make the big show. And he's not the only one, boys. Don't even look at RFK racing right now. I don't want to talk about it. Oh, this is really gonna end in a drag race between me and Chad State. And we get him at the line. No owler head on his car today. Might be some in the car the way the AI drive. Oh, we even got Ross Chastain wrecking in the foreground of the replay. Hopefully Dana White did not put $25,000 down on this one like he did the real car. That was a bit of an ill-advised bet. I could have told you that one wasn't going to pan out. We need to get this man an advisor of some kind. And I got to get all these dummies out of my way. Everyone's in the way. See if I can get this lane down here to work. And look at Eric Almarola. We'll try to get by him without making a big jump like real life. And around goes Joey Logano. No dump for you. And there goes Cedric too hard in the wall like real life. Oh, what a T-bone right there. Eric Jones, what are you doing, man? Wrecking ball. <laughs> Petty GMS cannot afford this right now, man. Oh, do you want to talk about not being able to afford it? Chris Busher doing donuts in the road. Why? I, yeah, I'm a lot better just pulling out in front of traffic here, but uh, we just set RFK back about three seasons. Here's the man himself right here. It was crazy watching him kind of do that move right there. Slow up and get out of the way. You can tell he's an owner now. He's trying to protect those parts. He knows what they cost now. That's not good. Oh, Alex Bowman in the road. That's going to be trouble. Oh, no, Brad. Oh, no, no, Brad. Well, you got to get the pocketbook out again for that one. Oh, and so do we. We're done. Toast. Oh, there's a bit of a shot, Derek. I'm rolling my bad. Not fulfilling my promise earlier. I'm running everybody right now. I'm Got a little Harrison Bird energy right. Oh, and Kurt Busch goes hard on the wall for the second night in a row. The victim of 2311 on 2311 violence the other day, and they're four wide inside of us and sorting it out. And look at Ty Dillon up here. Racing his guts out the other night. That was cool to see. That 42 Petty car, that thing is going to be cool. I love that font with the 42. That looks really nice. Hey, Helmendinger wreck in front of me. Does not look really nice. Can we get out of the wall, please? No, I guess not. Here, I'll just pull it back in the traffic then here. Someone who wants it right here. Oh, there it is, right in the license plate. Another one, there it is. Right in the bun, literally. Now me and Todd Gillen's doing a championship burnout in the middle of the race, that's tremendous. Should we try to get going again? Has our will to live been restored after that? Oh, Todd Gillen sure has it, I just took him out. Unrestored his car right before his very eyes and there goes LaJoy. Uh oh, whoa, me and Kyle Larson roaring through the roadblock. The tag team effort, and oh, here's what you're gonna get in return. How do you like that? The classic heel turn and a classic sticky ball. Ross Chastain takes it up. We're gonna reverse it to the line for nothing. Wow, I thought I was on the last lap. We're a lap down, what? I don't, I don't, I don't know what just happened. I am very confused. Some <laughs> packing people. We might be able to get past Brad Keselowski. What's he doing at the line? We do, we sneak by him for the spot. No, no, I just robbed RFK of prize money. Oh, that's not good. I am a menace to my own team. I am the maniac on the poster. <laughs> Brad Keselowski is standing down the street going wee woo wee woo. And it just, I just punted him again. He is really gonna have to Matt Kenseth me 
after this. It is going to be a complete roll reversal, and he does go around, so it's almost set in stone at this point. Eric Almarola might join him. It's going to be a real tag team. I'm almost definitely going to be put through a table or something after this, so I might as well get the dough, and I just gave a shot to Cody Ware, too. What is happening? Yeah, oh, my. What? Is, this is a big one. Oh, my. Corey LaJoy, no. I just saw the smoke from around the corner. That was awful. Wasn't sure how many flips we were gonna see on this tiny little track day. I guess I shouldn't put anything past the legends. Oh my, what am I looking at? It's the huge one. And we're bouncing right through the middle of it, all the way through the middle of it. Holy days of thunder moment, throw it in. The compilation we could probably make of our career at this point. We pack someone right at the end for the podium. There goes Todd Gillen getting turned like the 10th time today. And Joey Legato's going around again as well. Your breakfast is really just Groundhog's Day at this point. That's all it is. I think we've cracked the code. These are some sick drifts in the corner. Look at Ty Dillon. Oh, don't look at Ty Dillon. He's going to the wall and wrecking right in front of us. No, Ty. Not what I'm gassing you up now. And we rammed the six car. That's bad energy. And we're still ramming everybody out of the race. Oh, we got one flipping up here on the back, stretching its Ross Chastain again. Cold trickle wrecking like it's Daytona. And that gets us into second with a shot, a look at the lead. I think it's gonna be two. Oh, please, AI, please take him out. This is our chance. No, Byron blocks me out of the way. No, he was right there. What a teammate. That was a hell of a finish. It's seemingly out of nowhere either. I mean, Alex Bowman just getting clowned on by countless AI here. Almost let us in. And then William Byron keeps us a car link back. Oh, Eric Amarola came up at the end of that time. And I think I might have just caused Todd Hill to take Brad Keselowski to the wall. I'm just going to not look back and hope for the best. And I take out Rochester. I'm the wrecking ball. Once again, I'm the maniac. And we got Joey Logano trying to give away his dub. He's just ready for the Ice Cube show. He's out here swerving. Hi, Ross. Please forgive me, Ross. Please don't end me, Ross. Thank you, Ross. Sorry, LaJoy. LaJoy really is one that should be about ready to put me a few rows deep. And Eric Jones cutting off the rest of the pack so I can have a 1v1. Now that's how Michiganders look out for each other. And we're gonna have a one lap dash. All right, Bowman, this is it. Battle of the Axe right here, last corner, please. Chris Busher, RFK, do something for me here. Anything. Oh, I slam him. Get the hell out of the way. I buried him in the wall and he's wrecking. We are gonna take the dub in maybe the grimiest way ever. Well, that that was despicable, ladies and gentlemen. That was putrid, atrocious, you name it. There's no sporting handbook in the world you're gonna find that that's allowed in, except for right here in Rackfest, where I just bury him in the sticky wall, and then he gets T-boned, he just, he's back there getting eviscerated. What do you want from me? I take the dub. Well, if you've been watching these Rackfest videos for the last little while, you know how I've been liking to do these things lately. We've got our first dub, now let's take it up a notch. I'm gonna be running just pinball for this one. We dropped the low gravity. Some people have been asking, I try it out with just pinball. So that's exactly what we're gonna do in here at this tiny little track. This is gonna be insane. Well, hold on to and cross everything you got because this is probably gonna get pretty ugly pretty quick here. And there it is, immediately slamming the wall. And actually we're able to keep going before I get sandwiched and sent and sent back the other way. And it's just a demolition derby immediately. <laughs> which is about what I expected. Is this what NASCAR wanted at the Coliseum? Because all they needed was pinball mod. These parameters may force us to think outside the bun. I don't know how we're gonna get a dub like this when it's just calamity. Just turn one turmoil, the meme, it just gets amplified by these extra effects. And that I'm amazed we were able to drive away from. Some others weren't so lucky. Driver of the three car, driving the 24. Now something about that just ain't right. And neither is that entry angle when I'm tapping you in there. That was ugly. And Harvard giving me a shot to slide through the corner and through to the lead as everyone wrecks around me. Neat. Tyler Reddick's still running. Hopefully we can say the same about his RCR cars this year. He was running good until I think just went kaput. That was. That was a bit lame. You gonna go clear the lane for me here too? You wanna act as my battering ram? We're gonna need you. We... Oh, I really needed you. I just launched someone down the back stretch and that cost me a wheel. No, I can't move. Well, that's a heartbreaker. That, uh, that was an absolute dub. That was pretty much a guaranteed victory that we just had to finish and we're definitely not finishing this one. We're dead already in the first corner and it's not over with yet. Thank you, gentlemen. Anybody else, please. Look at my car. I'm doing the impression of a Gordita right now. Nice how we just went from having the wind dangled out in front of us 
to having exactly 0% chance of a win right from the get-go, just at birth, just completely eliminate. Now imagine when I'm the owner of NASCAR one day, this is what my events are gonna look like. We're gonna have the Ice Cube show where he's rapping half out of breath, and then it's gonna cut to this. We will make millions of dollars. NASCAR is gonna be saved, mark my words. Maybe not quite if we do that. We just had the nine car go flying into the stands over there. I saw it. I don't know if it quite went in. It went, oh, it's right up over the fence. It's on the other side of the fence. Turn one up here just scares me though. This is absolute meme city right now. And Denny and the first of all, why are you driving backwards? What do you gain? And we got Ty Dillon doing donuts and closing gaps on me and we got just pandemonium in the junkyard over here. Joey Logano for the lead, bounces off my window and loses the lead. We just made a pass by doing absolutely nothing. I got assaulted and I was handed the pass for the lead during said assault. What a world we live in in Wreckfest here. That's all I can say about it. Just what in the, oh my God. <laughs> We just sent that guy to another world. The Space Force game, call it, and it's coming. Call it for us. No, let me have my win. Please, I just want to get through. The cars from the grave are getting me now. We got Chance State in the six. Still being a menace to society, even in a whole new number. But not my number. Final lap, Michael McDowell is a ghost. And without issue, mostly, oh, please don't do it. Briscoe, do we need to send you back to the Space Force? There will be no need, because we get the dub. That took me a lot fewer attempts than I anticipated, but I will happily take it here. Three and out, and really it was three and a handful of beatings. That one was pretty brutal. We got sacked a few times on that one. And right there, Joey Logano hit us with Rikishi's signature move for the win. Then we get here in the back half of the race and we launch Rusty Wallace's car piloted by Chase Briscoe. And I mean piloted because he definitely left the Earth's atmosphere with that one. He was not the only one either. We got our own little bit of comeuppance after that. So it was not all roses, but we got two dubs and that is gonna do it, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you as always for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. You always know what to do. Hit that like button, subscribe for more. Hit me in the comments. Let me know what other videos you want to see here on the channel. And with that, I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.